Hey everybody, have you seen this brand, Avita? It's a laptop, it's sold on Amazon. When the customer called, I said, Avita, I've never heard of such a thing. Where did you buy it? In another country. And I searched on Amazon and it was there. It has a pretty good build to it. You know, it's aluminum. It's pretty nice. i5 7th gen. I don't know what kind of i5 7th gen it has though. Cause check out this board. No fan, just a giant copper shield with a thermal pad. Big battery. And the deal with this was a, is a no power on. We'd hit the power button and it would just blink. And everything looked pretty clean. So sometimes you get a computer goes into a coma state. You take the battery off, reconnect, and it kind of goes back to normal. So some of the basic things that we're going to take a look at. So disconnected battery, no, same thing. So then we went to some of the connections. We took over here. We got the, the power button. So took this off to take a look at the connection, see if anything's going on there. And yeah, there is, you can see there, obviously it's got some liquid exposure. So something happened there. So that could be causing a short. Oh, well, it is causing a short. Yeah. Now how bad it is, we don't know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give that a clean up and see if that resolves it. The other side is pretty you know, clean and there's really nothing else over here. And the board itself, you know, is clean. So let's see how that goes. We're gonna get some 99% uh, alcohol, clean that up and let's see uh, what happens. Okay, so we did have a little luck with that powered on that's the little alvita um i mean that flex is still bad so i wouldn't count on this to be a full-blown repair and the battery is showing not present so yeah, we got it up and running but we still gotta see uh if it's the battery if we have any other issues going on so just a quick diagnostic there always got a dead computer check power check connections Sometimes you might just have a, a little, very minor in this case, because it really was just isolated to that area right there. I don't know how that got in there. And it's running. Hey everybody, we're back here with the Avita laptop. So we got a new board in already. This is the old board, which we had cleaned up, but the battery was not working. The old Flex had damage on it. You can see that. Probably hard to see. But it had some corrosion there. So just replace that five little screws and under the board. Pretty much good to go. Connected the battery. And we're going to see if that's uh, pretty much it. So when we had we had cleaned the flex and the unit was working again but with the flex damage the battery was not charging probably was just the flex because the board looks pretty good but we just changed them both all right so here it comes this has a really slow startup I don't know if it's after the disc, the battery gets disconnected, but it takes a little bit. Zoom has a nice finish on the outside, basically all the visible area. But when you come down here and see the internals, it looks a little, a little cheapy. All this here is plastic. I mean, this board, I don't know, this CPU, this is an i5. I don't know what kind of i5 this is. There's no cooling. Copper plate. 
with a thermal pad on there. And no, showing no battery present. So it's going to be a no-go. The computer is going to be good, but you're going to have to replace that battery. It's giving us an X on the battery, but yet at the same time it says 255%. So obviously there's something uh, not right there. Yeah, this track pad, uh, the trackpad tap is, I don't know what's going on with the trackpad. Yeah, it's no battery present, actually. When we go to the battery, the device manager is not even there. Let's give it a quick peek on the battery app. So if you, I got a couple videos or a video on this application battery info view that'll read the battery and give you some information so let's let's take a look and see what it tells us let me find it over here This, yeah, okay, you're not gonna let me do that. All right, so I dragged it up here to the desktop. And yeah. So this app, yeah, there's blank. So this app will give you a lot of information. I mean, if the battery is working right. And if it's not, it'll tell you charging, not charging. So if you take a look there, blank. So something must have happened to this battery. I thought it was going to be that the flex since you did have all that corrosion and and all that there was, you know, pretty beat up. I was hoping that was going to be it or maybe, well, not the board, but pretty much the flex might have created some problem there because there's nothing on the side. The, you know, the battery looks good. Connections are good. So something went haywire. Nothing to read there on the battery. So what we'll probably do is, uh, yeah, we'll take a look online. We'll take a look and see if we can, you know, if there's batteries out there, which there is. There was, I mean, I didn't think we were going to find this board or flex, and it was a re pretty readily available. But I wanna, at least we got rid of that flex and prevent any other problems. And the board, if it did have any other problems due to the exposure, you know, it's cleared up. The computer's clean. Whether they use it with a battery or not will be a whole nother you know, decision uh, to make, but at least, you know, the computer's up and running and with no risk of any other, you know, shortages or anything like that. So we're going to leave it at that uh, for today. And that's what's going on tonight at PC 911.